tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The purpose of the book of Revelation is to remove the veil of the future. God is saying through John the Revelator and through the church, I'm the God that knows the end from the beginning and I'm in total control of kings and kingdoms. For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. The Antichrist will be an apostle in the kingdom of darkness. He will have satanic anointing to know secret things. Nothing will be hidden from him. He will set his image up in the city of Jerusalem and command for the world to worship him. And he's going to have men and women fall down before him and worship him as God. The Antichrist is coming to produce a one world government, a one world religion, and a one world currency. He is Satan's demonic messiah. Daniel 8, 24. Some believe that the rider on the white horse is Jesus Christ. The rider on the white horse in Revelation 6 is the great deceiver. The rider on the white horse in Revelation 19 is the great deliverer. Jesus is his name. Why is the devil sky on a white horse? Because the devil has been mocking Jesus Christ since Genesis 1 and 1. He's been emulating the things of God from the very beginning. He is the Antichrist, the chief son of Satan. That's what son of perdition means, the chief son of Satan. He's going to come promising world peace, and instead he's going to bathe the world in blood. And the Antichrist, the man of sin, and the false prophet are probably walking right now on this earth. And the time is coming soon when they will be manifested much sooner than you think. The element of the truth is that this earth is being bombarded by demonic power, the powers of hell. And they're coming now as if the Holy Spirit is withdrawing that holding power, that re restraining power, and pulling back and allowing this mantle of deception to fall upon mankind. The Antichrist will be the master of deception. Jesus said in Matthew 24, let no man deceive you. Say that with me, let no man deceive you. The Antichrist riding on the white horse will be a political genius. He will lead 10 kings. He will conquer three, then lead the remaining seven into the battle of Armageddon. As the Antichrist will be extremely arrogant. Daniel 8, 25 says he will magnify himself in his heart. My friend, get your eyes off of yourself and put them on one who can help you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. This earth is soon coming to that second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ. The world is being prepared. The Bible says the earth knew not till the flood came and took them all away. The average American, the average person in the world hasn't a clue. But if you're born again, you're not a children of the night, you're a child of the day. And the reign of the Antichrist is going to be worldwide, including Tulsa, Oklahoma. 2 Corinthians 11:14. 14. For Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Satan is still promising riches and glory, fame and fortune to anyone who will give their allegiance to the prince of darkness. Revelation is the story of the church of Jesus Christ, the triumphant church. It is the church overcoming death, hell, and the grave. The only place you can go to for safety is the Word of God. Judge everything by the Scripture. They wanted to know when the earth was coming to an end as we know it, the age as we understand it, the times as we perceive them. They wanted to know what was going to happen. The Lord Jesus could only reveal so much to them. Many things he keeps in his own power. The actual date of the second advent, the Lord Jesus Christ himself had reserved to God the Father so that he would tell him when that time was coming. It can't go too much longer. There's too many things that are going to converge together that'll be ready for the second advent of the Lord Jesus. So what does that mean, preacher? It means that when you see all this stuff happening, you see all these signs happening, 
Get ready, because we're going to leave out of here before that. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray you'd use what I've said, Lord, for the glory of God, just to help someone. Lord, I pray that they begin to think, call on your name and ask for wisdom. You promised to give wisdom. If we want wisdom, you'll give us wisdom. You said if we'll know the truth, and the truth will make us free. If we want to know the truth, you'll give us the truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.